What's up, folks? Um, so, uh, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, and uh, lately I've been like feeling really inspired. Um, and so, with that in mind, I'm doing a little video on uh, inspiration. But uh, in addition to inspiration, it's going to be like encouragement, um, you know, positivity. But <clears throat> I want to start with talking about my trip to trip to Amsterdam, which I know most of you saw on social media. So. <clears throat> I actually um, had the idea to buy my ticket to Amsterdam in about October, um, and then uh, I went onto Google Flights and uh, I saw pretty cheap flights, but um, something was holding me back. I basically like my, the lazy thoughts in my mind just kind of like convinced me that I should, or also the fearful thoughts in my mind convinced me that I should save some money, you know, just in case. Um, and then after New Year's, I still hadn't bought my plane ticket, and uh, I just got kind of like upset with myself. And I was just like, "Why are you waiting? Like, like what are you waiting for?" And so um, uh, I had enough money. I definitely had enough money saved up. I went to Google Flights, and I figured I could <clears throat> make the flight for like four months from now and get a good deal on it and uh, save up some money to spend in the interim of those four months between buying of the ticket and uh, flying out. And so I just kind of did it and I uh, went alone, didn't go with anybody else. And um, I'm not gonna like talk much about the trip here because uh, you saw the pictures. If you want to ask any questions about it, you can message me. But the main part of this video that I wanna talk about is um, getting inspired. Uh, I've seen posts uh, around like videos or films or sorry or pictures that say, you know, um, you're not bored or you're not lazy. You're just uninspired because you go to work to pay for the place that you live in, and then you feel so tired or like you want to relax that you just go to sleep or just put Netflix on. But <clears throat> that's kind of like living a life of quiet desperation because you want to do things. You know, you want to do things but you have the energy to sit there and pay attention to Netflix, but you don't have the energy to spend an hour or so on something that you're really passionate about and feel uh, like it like fills a hole in your life that, uh, you know, that's something that you love only can fill, you know? And uh, I feel like it's, a lot of it is having to do with listening to those lazy thoughts, the ones that kept me, f or the fearful thoughts that kept me from buying my plane ticket, that keep you from doing any number of things that you may be afraid you might fail at. Um, I was reading this book, I also, uh, you probably saw it on my Facebook, um, I recommend you go out and buy a copy or uh, rent one or check one out from the library. It's called Unfuck Yourself getting out of your head and into your life <clears throat> and basically the main thing that he talks about there in the book is <clears throat> you have to have a willingness to change your situation or an unwillingness to stay in your situation that you hate there's all kinds of situations or things that, about our situations that we would like to to change you know and um so in the book the author talks about the importance of doing because we have all these different sorts of thoughts in our heads. You know, some are negative, some are positive. But when we get to things that we really care about and the idea of doing that thing, it's suddenly the thoughts become really, really like lazy oriented or fear oriented. Is like, I'm not good enough. Or like, mm, I don't have to do that. I'm, I'm good right here where I'm at. And, <clears throat> you know, the, like, the wisdom behind this argument is just stepping up and once you have that thought of something that you can do that's productive and then you have the, the lazy thought just act in spite of that lazy or fearful thought you just tell yourself no I'm not going to be like persuaded by that I'm going to get up and fucking do it now because <clears throat> having the willingness having the drive having the the creative thrust and the uh, just the willingness to do something that's important to you is the most important thing there is next to actually doing that thing. So once you combine those two things and you just do the thing, you're going to be so much closer to winning at life, like winning your life, not necessarily like 
uh, in reference to competition with other people, but competition between the, the life you're living right now, where you're super fucking comfy, and the life that you want, the life that you dream about, that can be at times uh, uncomfortable or scary or any number of things, but I really encourage you guys to just like, to get inspired, to do the things you you want to do, but your brain is telling you that you can't or shouldn't or don't need to. Like even as something as small as like washing the dishes. If you get the, the, th the thought to, man, there's a lot of dishes in the sink. I should do that. You know, I should do those. And then you're like, oh, no, it's other people's problem. Like I wasn't the only person who created dishes. It's like, yo, you're part of the problem by having that first thought about doing dishes and not doing them and listening to the lazy thought that's telling you that you're fine and you don't need to do it. And while you do the dishes, you suddenly improve everybody else's lives as well, including your own. So, like, <clears throat> that's why Facebook is only as bad or good as we make it to be. If we share a bunch of stuff that's not really germane or it's a bunch of platitudes or it's not, like, coming from us, then it just becomes <clears throat> something to, like, kill time with. So I, like... <sighs> All my creative, all my like, driven, all of my smart friends, which most of you are, I encourage you to, like, stop sharing stuff for the most part. Like, just make it your own content. Make things to inspire other people to do better because, you know, we need to live through example improving ourselves in order to show other people that it's not that hard to improve ourselves. And then if everybody's working on themselves on an individual level, that's how we're going to be able to make the most change. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say on the topic of, you know, inspiration and, uh, and doing as opposed to thinking or speaking. So, bullet point... Don't talk about it. Be about it. Go create something, like now. Make something, do it. I love you.